hello welcome to my channel once again welcome this is a question that a lot of people have actually been asking why is everyone moving to ghana or going to ghana i think there are a lot of people that have not heard what is actually going on so this is a video i have a couple of videos that i want to show you for you to watch and know the reason why a lot of african americans and blacks from the diaspora basically from the caribbean from all over the world are coming to ghana let's go into the video why is everyone going to ghana clever marketing there i'll discuss the second part in another video um in 2019 it was 400 years since the first enslaved africans uh made it to america and we can i'm gonna just use neutral terms here you know what i mean so Ghanaians decided to promote this event they call the Year of the Return, encouraging descendants of enslaved people like myself to come back to Ghana where our ancestors were stolen and sold off the coast of Africa. And so people went. They also were very smart to connect with black American celebrities to go. Like I believe that Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union went. And whenever those folks come, they do like a big celebration for them at the airport. It's always all over Instagram and things like that. So that was kind of the first thing. The other thing that happened too is, so like a lot of, also too, a lot of black celebs continue to go. So when I was there, I went to the Kapinski. We see Jalen Rose, Angela Rye. I think Charlamagne was also there when I was there. I didn't see him, but he was there. We also saw... Um, Oh, uh, Chance the Rapper was there. He was hosting a big event a few weeks later. Uh, when we were leaving, I'm sitting here looking out at the Kapinski, which is the, kind of a nice hotel there. And I'm looking, I'm like, that may look familiar. It was Dave Chappelle just sitting there. And him and his wife were wearing these stoles, these kente stoles that were made in Ghana. And I went and looked on Instagram later and saw that they actually had the same ceremony for them at the airport as well. So it's clever marketing by the Ghanaian tourism board. There's also have been some influential bloggers. I keep mentioning her, but for me, this is she's the one that got my eye on Ghana, is Demetria Lucas. And so there had been a lot of expats that were going to Ghana visiting and being like this is where i need to be at and so she's one of them they actually did a story on her on good morning america so that's kind of the first part the other thing that happened too is that west africans like my nigerian friends were like no 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 we party to 6 a.m there like we party till the sun comes up and so there's this whole different party scene there that, that like that west africans are always bragging about and those videos started going viral on TikTok. And people were like, okay, 30 December. Okay, I want to be part of that as well. So that's kind of, I think, what all how it all happens. But this goes back to 2019 with the year of the return, which, is, again, was clever marketing by the Ghanaian Tourism Board. I hope that answers your question. I get a lot of questions in my DM about why I moved to Ghana. Enough people think it's big body girl why I moved to Ghana. And you're not entirely wrong. Joke. Very simple reasons. Please understand that this is my reasons and my reasons only. Ghana look like a big Jamaica. No joke. Make can go Nima Market and think I am downtown Kingston. Me and the people them look the same. So even when I say I don't speak local language, the people give me that look like what? Get out of here, bro. Me no like white man country. In 2021, me have to put up picket signs and say Black Lives Matter. If them don't know by 2021, what am I doing there? And me black like this? Please, so give me some kente. Not only is Africa, Ghana, so rich in culture, but some of the best food I've ever had in my life. Some of the best people I've ever met in my life. Um, the party? Oh, baby, the party? You know how we be standing around looking at each other in a given moment, somebody look at each other wrong, it's a fight. Oh, nah. Everybody out here is partying, they dancing, they're sharing bottles, they're drinking. I'm telling you, it's a time. It is such a time. And no, I'm not paid to say this. No, I'm not booked um, to be here and do this. I come because I love it. And that's just as real as I can keep it. So if you haven't, you need to come. Time. Hey, my fellow children of the diaspora, let me explain something to you. If you are black and living in America, or even the UK, or any of the Caribbean islands, and you have not ventured to Africa, more specifically Ghana, you are doing yourself a disservice. You are absolutely missing out on a beautiful life, a beautiful experience. I mean, we have been misinformed, miseducated for so long. You can see my background is beautiful. It's kind of faded out. Let me turn the camera. 
I just decided to go visit a friend. It's her son's um, birthday party and I came over here to where they're staying. I'm from Switzerland, but I'm also Indian, but I live in London. How long have you been in Ghana? I think it's my third week. Obviously, I miss my flights. Call my dad and Baba. <laughs> I miss my flight. He was like, oh, of course you did. I feel really safe here. I feel like as a woman, like I have not been harassed once. I haven't felt in any way threatened. I can walk around really the way I want to. And people are extremely friendly, extremely generous. Yeah, like I have honestly until now been really like very, very happy. And just like, I feel the vibes are just so high. Mm -hmm. Like the frequencies of everybody is just positive. Like I don't want to leave. So basically, these are some of the reasons why African Americans and Blacks from the diaspora are coming to Ghana. When you talk about the slavery, I think if we have about 40 slave castles, I think about 30 something of the slave castles are dotted along the coast of Ghana. Yes, like the whole of Africa, if let's say we have about 40 slave castles, we have about over 30 something. That's like the majority of it dotted along the coast of Ghana. I don't know how they felt that comfortable in Ghana. You know, Ghanaians normally, you know, we are like that cool, calm people. So I think it also played a part. And these people came here, they were comfortable here, and they just went to other African countries and they were bringing people from there to the slave castles in Ghana and then and they will ship them to the Americas and the Europe's and all these other places so Ghana has actually done this before like when it comes to the year of return thing Ghana has actually done it before Ghana did it some time ago that was like I think when W.E. Du Bois may he so rest in peace all of them came and that was when Kwame Nkrumah was the president so it's something that has been going on I remember we also had the Panafest back in I think 90 something it has been happening like Ghana has been like the country that has been doing this all the time and just this 2019 Ghana decided to do this and a lot of American celebrities have actually come to the country you can mention names like everybody almost everybody has been in this country almost everybody has been in this country so for me I think if you're African-American and you're watching this and you want to also come and experience or have this experience that other African-Americans are also experiencing it's better you take that trip you make that trip don't let anybody come and tell you that hey the country is this the country is that no we have 54 African countries you can decide not to come to Ghana you can decide to go to wherever you want to go maybe South Africa, Nigeria, um, Egypt, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin, Sierra Leone, Togo. There are a lot of countries in Africa. We have 54. So just feel free, pick the country that you want to. Because the year of return wasn't mainly uh, done because we wanted people to come to Ghana. No, we wanted African Americans to come to Africa. So a lot of them even did their DNA and when the result came, they were Cameroonians and they, they just went to Cameroon, visited the country and got to know about a couple of things in the country. Some of them were from Gabon, some of them were from Nigeria, a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So just feel free. You can, if this is the first time you watching something like this or knowing something like this, just feel free. A lot of them to have bought lands. They are building their, they are building their houses or they've built their house and they are living here comfortably. Ghana is one place that I don't know, but I've actually been hearing this like a lot of the times that the feeling that they get when they come here is, is so, so different. Like they can't even explain it. It's very, very different. Yes, that's like the feeling that they get. So everybody, like people from the Caribbean, Jamaica, Barbados, everybody is just coming. Everybody since 2019, it has been like that back to back, back to back, back to back. So, hey, you can make that trip. Come to Ghana and feel free mingle up with the people some people even come here on solo trips solo trips they just come here alone and they are safe yes you hear yes you heard me they are safe so hey feel free and make that move and come to Africa thank you so much for watching